Good morning. Just like that. Yup. I was right behind you guys. <laughs> well, that was cool. So I uh, was just pulling into the farm and uh, Shane and Ray were just coming out of the field and coming over here. So I was able to catch them on their way back here. <sighs> All right, guys. So today's Saturday. I am uh, got a lot of things to do, <laughs> but that's, a, that's the way it is right now. Planting season's always really busy. So uh, I'm gonna get my microphone on, I'm gonna get all my stuff put away, and uh, I'm gonna help them. So we're gonna cut some yellow seed. We're doing a little bit of a seed trial. Uh, so we're gonna make sure we have the specific seed in a specific area and mark it in the field today. So that'll be it. Okay, so these are quite a bit smaller than the white potatoes we were doing uh, the day before. So most of these potatoes aren't even cut. You can see that there's just a small portion of them that are actually getting cut with the knives. All right, guys, so you can see how all of these potatoes are falling through the front of the seed cutter because they're all small and they're not going through to the end. All right, now, so we are loading the cut seed directly into the potato planter here. Uh, it's not going to be a very full load, so we are kind of trying to load it evenly across the planter, you know, starting from one side and then moving over a little bit and loading it. Um, it's kind of like how you load a truck for potato harvest. I'm riding in the truck. Okay. All right. You get the chauffeur is what you need. Ooh, very nice. So I'm driving down to the other end. I've got some more potatoes in the back of the truck that we're going to plant after we plant this, uh, this variety. So this is cool. I think this is the first time that we've done one of these uh, kind of trials. Okay, I think I'm going to actually get a chance to ride on the potato planter. I'm just going to grab a hat. This is the second variety we're trying. Okay, these guys are coming down the field already. A seed trial? Yeah. They are from Washington and they don't have potatoes out this way. So we're going to be yeah. a farm that's going to try them. Yeah. yeah. Let's see how they do in the soil here. All right, Bill, I'm going to hop on here. Go ahead. <laughs> The popper will adjust um, as the seed starts to get low, the angle it gets steeper so that the potatoes will slide in where they need to go. We're helping them out just a little bit. But generally speaking, you do not need anybody in here to do this. We are doing this just, just today to show you guys and to make sure that this seed goes in the ground good.
<laughs> this is cool. I'm glad that we're doing this today. Nice day for it. It is. Okay. So, pick a row. Okay. I'm gonna start. How many? Four? One, two, three, four. Okay. Do you want me to open the boxes or just put them? Put them down. Okay. Now. All right, guys. So, these potatoes are from Meyer Potatoes. Uh, they are based out of the Netherlands. And we are gonna do this seed trial. And this is a table stock and a chipping variety. So, we've got a couple different varieties to try here. Do you want the different color flags or no? No, you're all, you're set. Okay. So uh, we're gonna give these a try. And then later on this summer, I think in July, uh, we're gonna have a visitor. Matt's gonna come by and we'll be able to tell you guys more about that at that time. All right, dump. Is that So some of these potatoes are sprouted a little bit. Uh, we had them in the boxes, but uh, there's just breaking off the sprouts a little bit so that they'll plant a little bit better. This is our bad. We probably should have uh, moved them around a little bit when we got them. But I do not think it's gonna affect anything with the growth. Shane is marking the flags so that we can mark the varieties in the field. All right, guys, so I'm gonna bring you back when this is all done. And I'm very excited to see how this turns out. This is my first time doing anything like this, but it's really cool. Have you guys done this before? Like a seed trial before? Uh, no. No? I mean, probably back in the Yeah. So, table stock seed trial. <laughs> okay. All right, so that went well. And I'm going back to the farm. And then I'll bring you guys back on the next thing we do. Oh, awesome. It is a beautiful day. Uh, I'm so glad to be doing what I'm doing today. that well that's interesting so i just got a package from ncis we got two t-shirts and two hats so thank you very much for that <laughs> um, i'm not sure there was no note in there so i don't know who to thank exactly but uh, i appreciate it <laughs> thank you okay now that we are done planting the seed for that trial i'm gonna go take some notes and draw a map and take like soil temperature and stuff so that we can have as much information as we can. I mean, it's not gonna hurt, that's for sure. And these guys are filling up a uh, raised planter with Constance, which is the yellow variety we got from uh, Crown Farms. Hi. So I was just saying that I was gonna go over to that field and 
you know, mark everything down so yeah. I know where it's at. Did you want to come with me over to this? Or everything's labeled? I'll go up there with you. Okay. All right, so the flags are identifying uh, which variety. So Shana is drawing a little map here and marking out the varieties in the rows so that I can take a regular map of the field and, and fill it in. All right, we're getting some planting done today. Uh, we got most of the fields around here planted. We have one more field right over here, uh, the ones that we were working on the other day. Um, and then that'll be all of the Auburn potatoes we're planting. And then we'll move down to uh, Durham. And that's where most of the potatoes are going to be. So uh, all of the white potatoes are going to be in Durham. And this is yellows here. There'll be uh, yellows by, I think it's whites by the farm. And then the other field, Rodrigs. And I think there's some, some whites or yellows. I don't know. <laughs> I will have to figure it out uh, before I say which one it is. I'm not sure, but I know this. This field is definitely yellow. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give Shane a ride back. He's going to go spread some dry fertilizer, and I'm going to head to Lewiston and continue working on the sweet corn ground. So that's what I'm planning to do today, and I will bring you guys back, I guess, a little bit later uh, when something cool is going on. All right, Ray's gonna finish up planting this field. We're gonna head back and get to our other responsibilities for the day. All right, guys, another little change of plans here. So I think we are setting up a trailer for fertilizer. So are we setting up a trailer for Dave for planting? Yeah. Or all the fertilizer around. Okay. What does he usually do? Uh, he hauls that pump tank down the road. Yeah, it's not, not good for that though, right? Anymore? Yeah. No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> small person might be able to fit in there but not me so we just got to like vacuum it out and flush it out we close it and we don't look at it again <laughs> you said it not me <laughs> So as per usual, change, change in the plans. I'm not going to go over to Lewiston just yet. I'm going to hang out here with Shane. He needs me to shuttle him back and forth to uh, that 100 acre field. He's got to drive another tractor over there that has the hiller on it. So, so that Ray can plant, start planting there. I think Monday, maybe even tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Getting all this stuff in the ground. It's exciting. Yeah, don't need those then. Lighten her up to speed. Yep. Give me a 916. Yeah, I can. Your shoulders are way too wide. 
I know who we need for this. What? Oh. I'm fit. Oh, I lost my hat. <laughs> you got one. I will fit in there just fine. I, I want to go in. I don't think you're going to fit. Well, you'll fit, but I, I can fit in there. We need a step ladder on the inside, though. Get out of the way. Uh, I want to do it. Huh? I want to do it. <laughs> I want to go in. I want to go in. You're in. I'm jealous. I want to go in. You want me to grab your shot back? Uh, I want you to grab my flashlight. Okay, I know where that is. And my shot, yeah, my flashlight's in your truck. Yeah. And yeah, grab my shot back and throw a fresh battery in it. Okay. You wanna go in? <laughs> you can go in and have to go get some more <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and hand me the 916 sprint so I can take the front cover off. Okay, can I go in the front while you're in the back? Yeah, we're gonna repair the spark tube. Okay. We're supposed to be doing useful things today, but instead we're doing this. Well, this is way more fun. Huh? This is way more fun. We're doing it. <laughs> All right, so this tank is going to get cleaned out. All right, guys, this is turning into a very long uh, segment here. <laughs> so I'll bring you guys back when we are all finished doing what we're doing to this tank and we have it ready to go. So the inside of the tank, it's pretty good. Uh, the only issue I see is there's only that one pipe up front. So we've got to set up a coupler on here so that we'll have a pump there and the pump will draw from that front pipe and then depending on whether we're mixing, if we're mixing, it's gonna come out of that pipe and go in here to the sparge tube to get it to roll. And then when he's filling the fertilizer tank mm -hmm. on his planter, mm -hmm. you will shut the valve off going to here and draw from there and go right into the planter. So that's, that's the only thing that we're gonna to have to tend to here. All right, so are you gonna put some water in it and see if it- Yeah, step one, we'll yeah. put some water in it. Okay. Here's the mic back. Thanks. All right, so the tank has a little bit of a leak in it, but we have Derek from Average Shot uh, coming over to do some welding. Um, and he'll look at this on Monday and these guys will figure out if it's worth fixing and what it needs. So to be continued on this project. Okay, I'm heading back to Lewiston. Oh, bye Shane. Bye, <laughs> I'm heading back to Lewiston to uh, do some disking with the log and that's going to be where I spend the rest of the day and part of tomorrow and Monday morning. Oh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on in this, in this video. So today is a very busy day. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to go disc uh, just like I have been in the last video. And I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.